I almost don't want to even get into this story because this got to. that's that's some nasty shit. That, <laughs> I hate just fucking rumors, man. But this is all right. So there's a woman who's the baby mother of of Chief Keith. I guess he's a rapper, right? The baby yeah. mom. She's claiming that Odell Beckham Jr. of the Browns, no less, uh, well, he's got a fetish. And she's claiming that the fetish is that he likes, say it, Donnie. I don't even want to say the he shit. Like to be, he likes to, she likes to doodle on people, shit oh. on people. I don't even believe that. <laughs> I just don't believe it, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, you have so many rumors out here, man. And I've seen a woman, man, you know, I don't be like, come on now. Odell Beckham got a baddie, man. I, come on, man. I don't believe that. You can't believe everything you hear on the end. They used to say things about my man. The, re that the reason why I'm laughing, because right before this, I didn't even know nothing about this. My friend sent me something, and, and the text message said, doo-doo, doo-doo. I said, man, you got too much time on your hand. And then I looked at the thing, and it was somebody playing with some chocolate and then doing something like that. No, man. All right, so Odell know. responded on the IG post. He said, can't knock me off my pivot no matter what shit's thrown my way. Should, should he have even given it energy? Should he yeah. have even responded? Yeah, I think he should have really? been. You know, somebody said, you cocking on him? Hell yeah. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but y'all notice he ain't denying it. Y'all notice he, he ain't denying it. Was, that was a deny. He was like, see, you know? He, did, he was just saying it subliminal, like almost just, come on, man. He, he was saying, to me, it said he was saying like, this is so stupid, I'm not gonna even, I'm not gonna even respond to this stupid well, ass. Thing, though, let, me, let me tell y'all something, man. We, we all successful black men, you know what I'm saying? Once you get to a certain point, we know brothers got fetishes, they gonna do it. R. Kelly was peeing on people, he ain't the first and he ain't gonna be the last. You understand what I'm saying? People got some fetishes. I got friends that play in the NFL. What they do is they get girls to sign NDAs, Okay, you can't mention anything. You can't write a book. You can't do any of that. And then they go off and do whatever they do. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> well, probably. She pro Shorty, if you look at this show, Selena Powell, they just exposed Trey songs too. Another one of her friends, yep. Trey songs peed on her. Yep. <laughs> he the real young R. Kelly. What oh. happens is these athletes are into some real freaky, just like regular people. Athletes are human. You know what I mean? Steve would tell you they're human too. They got fetishes too. But what's happening is they have a profile and they're not keeping it quiet. Gotta get the NDAs. You said, Tony, you can't believe half of the things you hear, man. I, I don't, I just don't believe half of the things. If I wasn't there, I ain't speaking on it. Yeah, you can't discount it too. Oh, okay, let's break it down. Odell's a weird dude, right? Number one, Odell's a weird dude from the gate. What it, makes you weird, Tony? Because he has he wears his hair blonde, he dance off. Come on, man. That dude is, is just like anybody else, man. Come on, man. Yo, I, you can't even say that with a straight face. You're I, 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 you know. like, everybody ain't like when you kind of different, you say he's weird. I don't think he's a weird dude. There's like, nothing wrong with being weird. I'm probably weird. Everybody's weird. But what I'm saying is Odell is not a conventional guy. He's not a conventional dude by any stretch of the imagination. So it wouldn't surprise me. And that's anybody. LeBron may have this stuff. Everybody got their own stuff. But you got to keep it. Steve, let me know if I'm wrong. You're if wrong. You're with a certain woman. <laughs> I'm just saying. If you into some freak stuff, you telling me no NBA players or no NFL players into some old freak old stuff? You talking to me or are you talking to no, Steve? I'm talking to you now. You talking to me? Yeah. I don't I'm know. Steve. I don't I don't, know. I don't hang around the NFL. I don't know what they be Steve. doing. Now you don't know. Hey, 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 I don't care how weird or what kind of fetish you got, and I'm a freak, but I ain't let nobody shit on me, dog. I don't want a baby to shit on me. You know what I mean? Like by mistake. Come on, dog. I mean, so I don't know about all that. But, but Steve, it wasn't just poop. She couldn't shower for 24 hours, oh. and and she it was a whole bunch of other. Hey, can we can't hold up, Tony? Can, let, let's just get off this subject because I'm tired of the shitty subjects. <laughs> <laughs> Stomach starting to hurt, else, man. Let's talk about something else, man. Yeah. Hey, well, Simon says Donnie is in denial, and then T. John, uh, Odell didn't deny it, and then no, uh, Simon, he kissed is, my ass because I ain't in denial some, shit. Some, some guys get down like that. They had women shit in their mouth. Ew, man, I say the bottom. Oh man, come right, on, let's man. get off that whole shitty hey, situation on, here, man. but. As an athlete, though, Steve, when you're dealing with unscrupulous women, groupies, whatever you want to call them, I ain't trying to disrespect them with now. How do you protect yourself from stuff like this? Uh, well, I um, I guess it's people, places, and things, but sometimes you can't even avoid it. I remember, like, one All-Star weekend in, 
in California, man, it was just like the lobby. People would try to come in with, with different, you know, costumes and things like that. But it's social media era now, so people are, are easy accessible. So you never know. They can meet up anywhere for a shit fest on the farm. <laughs> <laughs> Get me a shit, me. <laughs> oh, that was shit, man. As long as y'all bring the brews and the bitches, it's some shit, man. Y'all bring them shitty bitches. <laughs> you already know. It might be a thing. You never know, man. And you know what's going to happen, man. Because, like, when you got teammates, you know teammates crack jokes. They probably got all kind of man. shit emojis all over the locker room. Like, that's why Odell did that. He knew they was going to kill him. So he said, let me just join in on the fun. He said, they're going to kill but, me. I'm going to make fun of him. He tried but, to Eminem the situation. But Tony, here, here's the thing. And you know what I mean? It, it, it's been things said about Steve. When somebody assassinates your character, and it is, it is, how can you defend yourself against the internet anyway? You that's can't defend point. yourself the against The internet is undefeated. Because you know, people internet. believe it automatically. Yeah. That's true. You know? That's what's, 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 well, here's my thing, though. When you got an NDA sign, I just think cats got to move carefully. As, as Steve said, yo, I've been in a situation where I was with a shorty laying down, and she was taking the pictures of me while I'm just in the bed sleep. And I caught I'm like, girl, are you taking pictures of me? You don't know what that happened to Lil Wayne. That happened Dudes to take pictures more than you than oh, girls, on. though. Let, 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 Dude, let me tell y'all something about NDA. But if you, if, but if if you high profile, it puts you in a different space. Let me tell you something about NDA, Mr. Tony. Uh, okay. I can get around an NDA all day long. I got I got homies. I say, nigga, leak this. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, and they gonna leak that. You know what I mean? So at the end, NDA, NDA, really uh, NDA really doesn't need uh, uh, mean anything because you can always leak some if you give it to one of your partners. He a stand up dude and he gonna handle it for you. And I got dudes like that all day long. But one, they can't monetize off of it. Number one, so that hurts some of the motivation. That's really mean. They just really want to hurt you because they that's can't. When that's what they're doing. And that's what she's doing. She yeah, really want to hurt him. Clout on it, though. Huh? So they're, getting yeah. they're getting clout because they're po she got a podcast. So yeah, she podcast, clout. They, People they, talking about it. We, I don't know who she is, but if we're talking about her now. Yeah, they get well, how, but the people you saw, but how long does that last, Mike, Steve, and, and Tony? How long does that last? That means now ain't nobody gonna deal with you because at the end of the day, you can't hold a secret. And she's I mean, and and I, you know, I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw one name out there for you. How long could it last? You still know who Superhead is? Superhead, cast X. Yeah, but, but, but look at me, but but look, they, they broke now. Nobody don't want to deal with them because you know you're telling secrets. You know what I mean? What what we do in the bedroom is our business. Don't you ain't gotta go out there and kissing and telling you or, or the toilet. It don't matter. Whatever you do in the bedroom or the toilet is your business. But I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about life period. I ain't talking about I ain't talking about the other thing. You still on that shitty shit. I am, I'm talking about I'm talking about something else. All right, we gotta go, man. It's been fun.